Welcome, madam. Thank you. Thank you. Sana. Thank you. My name is uh, Juma Kilwake, and this is the Mobile uh, Computing Lab, funded by the NRF. Mobile computing is concerned with uh, giving students uh, an opportunity to explore and uh, learn, and essentially provide uh, opportunities to learn the various uh, uh, components in the mobile computing continuum, ranging from uh, mob handheld devices, connecting technologies to, to servers. The strength of the lab is the, the sensors that we have uh, been able to acquire. For example, we have the body analyzer sensors uh, that can be used to measure uh, your weight, the heart rate, the proportion of fat within the muscle, and it's up to the student now to be able to develop applications that can be used to, um, uh, for health purposes. And uh, I think providing this uh, kind of uh, uh, tools expands the creativity of our students because they, they are not limited on what they can do. If they have an idea, the, the tools are there to be able to um, put that idea into, into practice. We did this proposal to National Research Fund and we were among the few universities that successfully received a grant of 64.6 million. This was to support the establishment of an ICT hub. The ICT hub initially had five components, the data center, mobile technology, the conference center, certification training laboratory, Cisco, and finally we had the forensic lab. The forensic laboratory can help if we work with the security agencies at national and county level in fighting crime. Digital forensic is, uh, is part of the wider forensics and it's about identification, acquiring processes and analysis of digital evidence. The process starts with uh, the crime has happened, so you need to get to do investigation. And to do that, you need to acquire or to capture the data. So the first step stage here is for capturing of the evidence. So we have devices that you can record the interview you are having intelligently without the person being investigated, knowing what is happening. This is the pen, it is rechargeable, it has memory, and it has a camera. It has a wide field of view, yeah. Mm. Rechargeable, has memory, and uh, you will not know what is happening. Our conference center is uh, operational. Uh, after commissioning today, it will be open to use by not just our institution, but others who find such modern technology appropriate for their services. This is a national research center on ICT. And the expectation is that as a host institution, you are supposed to put up a, the operations uh, policy so that uh, the facility will be open to all researchers in Kenya who would want to access your facility for purposes of research or even academia. We are confident that uh, with the rolling out of the CBC curriculum, and uh, the online element by the Ministry of Education, we can support uh, teaching and learning through enabled technology for schools. We are therefore encouraging sister institutions and other organizations to take advantage of this. For example, our data center has a very huge capacity and we are ready in partnership to store data for institutions like the county government or Zoya Sugar Company from within, but also from, from elsewhere.
The investment that we have put in this uh, institution will go a long way in supporting the country as a whole in realization or attainment of the fifth industrial uh, revolution as per the requirements. I'm delighted to know that you have already put up uh, various programs that are meant to champion experts who will uh, then uh, step up to uh, solve the various challenges we are facing uh, in the country uh, with regards to ICT matters. We need to appreciate government through the National Research Fund for coming up with uh, this uh, program and going forward, I think we are looking at a situation where the launching pad is available to our university and uh, to the community.